Minnesota and Wisconsin tied up at two. Overtime hockey. Minute 40 to go. And we're going to have Jimmy Snuggerud to Brody Zemer. Two guys that got drafted. What a play to win the game. They sweep the weekend series. They beat Wisconsin 3-2 to two in both goal. You got to get up faster than that. Come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. It was a great play. Batted in like baseball. Watch this. Bam. Defenseman goes down. Backhand over his lying body. And then bats it in. Boom. Beautiful. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Today's episode is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. We've got a fantastic finish between Stanford and Notre Dame in the ACC tournament. There's 35 seconds left. Goalie grabs it at 33 seconds. And then he lays down on it. And he lays down on it and no one's around him. And he's killing clock, milking time because they're winning. And he's going to run over here and see if anyone's open and bounce it around and still got it. Like 15 seconds and the ref says, nah, uh uh-uh, that's a yellow card. I already warned you. I already warned you. Don't be wasting time. You know, I love that. So now they got a free kick in the box to tie the game with 12 seconds remaining in an elimination game in the tournament. So Stanford's setting up their wall, right? Notre Dame brings their goalie up. He's in green and everyone's going to just get excited. Number seven's taking a nap and he says, okay, this is the area 11 and 15 jostling. You can see the guy in green. That's the goalie for Notre Dame. I think my guess is that number two is going to try and kick it at green and he's going to move. And that's the hole they're going to try and hit Stanford. You know, I'm not a soccer, a football expert, but their, their wall becomes very mobile and bam, it goes in games tied goalie. Couldn't see a thing. Unbelievable. They call them on killing time. They get a free kick in the box and then the wall moves whole thing about a wall supposed to be something that doesn't move you know moving walls aren't really that great so you can see there's a big opening there the goalie is diving and then there's a lot of movement to fill that gap but they create gaps by trying to fill the gap and it goes off of his body and look at the goalie he's just looking he had no no chance no chance he's thinking is this my fault because i wasted time this damn ref That's how, what, what is all that? That stinks. Still nine seconds to go. You know, a last ditch effort kicks it from midfield. Holy shit. A walk off midfield boot and the goalie falls in love with the goalpost. Stanford wins. What drama. That's like the most exciting 15 last 15 seconds I've seen in a while. They dogpile. Yeah. Dylan Hooper's his name. This was his first goal of the season with seconds to go. I don't know if the goalie can do anything better. He's just placed, he's just placed perfectly. What are you falling in love with the wall or something? Goo! As I said earlier, this episode is brought to you by Draft Kings. There's a chill in the air and leaves are falling to the ground and football every weekend that's what fall is all about you can make each weekend even more exciting by getting into the action with our partners at DraftKings, the number one place to bet on touchdowns right now all new customers who bet just five dollars will instantly get 200 in bonus bets watching you when you use code mist so download the DraftKings sportsbook app now new customers use promo code mist and bet just five dollars on any wager and get 200 dollars in bonus bets instantly that's promo code mist only at DraftKings sportsbook To table tennis we go where we have the LeBron brothers. This is older Alexis LeBron and this is younger Felix LeBron. The LeBron brothers. I once made a a short called LeBron Embarrasses America and it was these two brothers defeating Team USA. Million views because that's a funny title of a short because people think it's LeBron typoed, but it's not. French brothers, the LeBron brothers. Now, this guy, the younger brother, Felix, he's ranked fifth in the world. His older brother is ranked 13th, but you can't beat older bro. Even though he's ranked higher than him, 0-2 against him. The last time older bro beat him, younger bro cried immediately. 
This time, younger bro's really, he's giving it to him. He wants to beat him, and older bro's going to make him work. Look at this. Put on the defensive right away is older Alexis LeBron, and then just returning everything. Backhand return, backhand return, backhand again. Felix on the offensive, boom, he's down. He's down again, jumping two-handed backhand, and then the spinning backhand off the table. Younger Felix LeBron wins the point. He does go on to win, but older bro, he's not going to make it easy. Look at that. That's, that's a brotherly, ah, been here. Ah, that's what we grew up with. Ah, it's like playing in the basement. Their dad was a pro. Their uncle was a pro. LeBron brothers, just pros. Table tennis, ping pong. Nice. On the ground, goes back on the ground, jumping double-handed backhand, and then like, just like a little like, you know, subway surfing, getting, oh, getting his balance. Felt good about it, you know, and then he was like, I'll do the, I'll do this. Didn't work out. The LeBron brothers, Lightning every time. To Sumo. Let's go to Sumo. On the right is 16-year-old Kosei. Kosai? Kosei. I don't know. Uh, he's facing off against 39-year-old Amadek. 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 Kosei. Amadek. Let me know how I said it. I could say it better. Before we watch this, sometimes I've been told that the big sumo guys just let the little guys win because it helps out their like dojo or like their 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 team or just the the player. I don't know what's going on here. Is this is this all as fair? Is everyone trying here? Because thirty nine year old looks like he's kind of trying. Sixteen year old looks like he's working that lower leg, that that right leg. See, getting under it, and he's on the ropes, and he pushes him out. Is this real? There's no weight classes in sumo. And I, I've done videos on mismatches before that are definitely everyone's trying their hardest. And we went and watched sumo live, U.S. sumo, and we interviewed the sumos on this very show a while back. And they said, when you face the lighter guys, it is harder because you don't know what their first move is going to be. You kind of have to feel them out, which then allows them to kind of have a beat on you because you're used to playing the bigger weights. But 16-year-old little dude wins. And now if this is all fair, the way I break down sumo is I watch it and I say, I think this is what's happening and it's sometimes right, sometimes wrong. But it looks like he grabs on and he's just staring at that leg. He's just kicking it and just staring at it. And every time the big dude picks that leg up, he knows, okay, move him. So he picks it up and he runs into him a little bit. Now it's down, conserve it, picks it up again and move him. And then he's going to try and that move which does throw him off balance, probably has a name. But by doing that, the big dude's got to refine his footing and he moves him like a foot by doing that. And then he tries to do it again. He's on the ropes. And maybe that's when big guy's like, hey, here you go, dude, have a win. Sumo people, let me know in the comments how legit, not legit, are the efforts being put into this bout. And that's Things You Missed. Thank you very much for watching. My name's been Jimmy. Your names have been your name. Comment them below, maybe. Also, let me know, Fan of the week. Who's your favorite? Enjoy. I'm going on vacation soon, so I might we might have a little hiatus or we might do old episodes. So enjoy. Subscribe, like, comment. Those help a ton.